Every minute, three and a half people die from America's most addicting drug. Approximately seven out of seven people use this drug in their daily lives. With so many people using it, the question is, what is America's most addicting drug? What do you think is America's most addicting drug? Well, cigarettes? Probably cocaine. What do you think is America's most addicting oh. drug? What do you think is the world's most addicting drug? Uh, caffeine. It's quite obvious what America's most addicting drug is. And if you haven't guessed it, it's caffeine. That's bad for you! Every day, America invests $300,000 and two cents into caffeine-related products. This includes coffee, soda, and energy drinks. So why do we use it so much? Why do you drink so much caffeine products? Why? Why do I? Life's boring. Sometimes you just gotta speed it up a little bit. Did you know four or five teen pregnancies are caused by caffeine? What? Everyone has a supplier for drugs. Here, I'm at SSC, and I'm heading to the school supplier, the Quasar Quickstyle. He's out that way, too. Hello, I'm Cody, and I'm here to ask you a few questions about caffeine. Nice to meet you, Cody. Let me show you around. So this is a 12 cup coffee pot. About how many times do you refill a day? We refill it about six times a day, and sometimes we even run out of coffee beans. Uh, if you excuse me, i got to pull this thing up. You know, the first thing I do when I see a machine like this, I just, just gotta sit back and look at it. You know what I mean? Potassium citrate. Now that's caffeine. I don't have something to drink with caffeine in it. I crash and can't make it through the day. Speaking of which, this interview is making me tired. I've been trying to reach the CEO of the Cafe Grande Company, and after several attempts of calling him, I've finally been able to get an interview with him. Let's see how it goes. So why did you start a coffee business? Well, looking at these markets, the biggest sellers are those who are drinkers. People want something to keep them going through the day, so that's what we do here at Cafe Grande Company. We give them something that people to keep them awake during the whole day, you know? But why coffee? Coffee is one of the precious things in America. It's cheap to make, so it makes more money for us, right? Right! So if big businesses are just investing in money, 
and the people want something to keep them awake. Is caffeine really that bad for you? So I got the chance to talk with the head leader of PASCAF. It's a caffeine protesting group. This group has 200,000 active members to this day. So tell me, why is caffeine bad for your health? Because it will kill you. Wait, is that caffeine on your desk? Get the f*** out. Hey, Jordan, what's going on? What's going on is with all these kids, good grief. How do you ever expect to survive in this world if you can't stay awake? What is with this Mountain Dew? Orange pop? Come on, you gotta get up, bud. We gotta get you to class. Let's go. Caffeine is a part of the life of America. There's almost no avoiding it. Caffeine can kill with overdose. It only takes four cans of monster to kill an adult. You can run, but you can't hide. There is no safe place from caffeine. It will find you, and it will kill you. Don't do it, don't Zach. Do it. Don't, don't jump. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Yeah. Caffeine Zach, free. Don't, don't do it. I can't do this. Your family. <laughs> 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 <laughs>